How do you train hundreds or thousands of users effectively on Microsoft 365 applications? The answer is you don't. Instead of training them, help them at their moment of need. Let me show you how. There are so many applications in Microsoft 365. When a user navigates from one application to the other, the help should be available to them at their moment of need. So when I'm going to Excel, OneDrive, Teams, SharePoint, anywhere I go as a user, the Visual Suite tab is available to me anywhere I go. When I click on it, it provides me the help I need for this application. For example, creating and sharing files in a library. If I click on that, a video shows up and the article below it showing me exactly how to upload share files in a document library. Similarly, when I go to a different application like Microsoft Teams, the Need Help tab is still there. And it's showing me all the information that I need to know about Teams right now. What is Microsoft Teams? How do I sign in and get started? How do I chat and share files? When I click on these things, quick tip sheets, videos, walkthroughs, all kinds of things that are appropriate to me appear at my moment of need. Let's go to Excel. What am I thinking about when I'm in Excel online over here? Obviously, I want to understand things about how do I use different formulas in Excel. Here we go. VLOOKUP, SUM, SUM IFS. All the relevant content is available to me at my moment of need as I need them. The content is sourced from our own Visual Spirit repository as well as a partnership with Microsoft. Let me show you another scenario. Let's say that as a user, I'm coming to the modern document library in SharePoint for the first time. A walkthrough like this starts automatically and welcomes me to show me around the document library. I click on Next. It's telling me which document library this is. Next, it's guiding me and helping me discover different elements on the page. Furthermore, if I wanted to, I can also click on these action buttons and learn more about each area. And if I'm done, I can exit out at any time. The same walkthrough is available to me as a user right here, and I can execute this as many times as I want. Now you might be thinking, can I customize these things? Can I customize the branding? Can I customize the content? Absolutely. As an administrator, you can customize all the branding that you see, as well as all the content, wording, anything that you want to customize. That's done by going into Enable Edit Mode and editing the item and changing the information that you need to change. For example, if I wanted to change some of the steps in the walkthrough that I just saw, I could go to the walkthrough and make the changes right here. There's also an easy element selector so you can select different elements on the page instead of one that you already had selected. So instead of pointing to this document here, Maybe I want to point to the pages. I click on that and then I use it. I can use this editor to change around my steps or even create new steps right here. If you want to make your own help items, also extremely easy. Click on add a help item. Pick the viewer media type that you're looking for. In this case, a walkthrough builder. So I'll go to walkthrough builder, put in some text. Select the element that I want to point to by clicking on the select and then picking the element, click on use it. And right now, if I do a preview, here's my first step of the walkthrough. Simple. In addition to the how-to and training content, sometimes you'll want announcements and other pertinent information to be shown to your users. You can see that the Visual Speed tab here is named announcements. And I have information here that is very relevant to the user. Message from CEO, for example. This can come up automatically or be available to the user whenever they want to view it. Using a dialog pop-up like this, you can communicate important information to the users as many times as you want, wherever they are. Or the same dialog can be used for meeting reminders or anything that you want. Another way of communicating important information to your users is with the use of banners like these. This type of banner can come from the top of the page or bottom of the page and let the user know about something very important they should be making note of. Once they're done reading it, they can go ahead and dismiss it. Also very easy to customize and make your own. 
Here's a message. The same training and help is available to your users within the Microsoft Teams desktop application as well as the mobile application as well. So it can guide them and help them understand how to make the best use of Microsoft Teams. To see how your communication and training is being used, as an admin you can always go to View Analytics and that will provide you a good snapshot of exactly how everything is being used across the company. This was just a quick run through of how you can reduce support tickets, increase productivity of employees and get a greater return on investment from your Microsoft 365. If you would like to get a demo for your team, please click on schedule a demo button and let's talk. Thanks for watching.